Hey everyone, it's John, your Gen X Grandpa, and today I want to talk to you about the Mayano Caster Light Podcaster Bundle. This is a surprisingly versatile and useful beginning podcasting kit. It's a starter kit. They sent it to me, and I'm really glad I had an opportunity to review it, and I'm looking forward to using it even more. So let's talk about this kit, and I'll talk about who it's for later on and who I recommend it for. All right, first let's talk about what comes in this kit. You should be seeing some B-roll right now of me unboxing it, and it comes with a number of very useful things. It comes with two TRRS cables, which is something that you're going to need. It comes with a custom XLR to 3.5 millimeter cable, a microphone, a stand, comes with your instructions and all that kind of basic stuff. And really, the only thing that you need besides this kit is a phone or a computer to get started podcasting or broadcasting. And that's the point of this kit. It's to get people started. This isn't a pro kit. This isn't something that someone who wants to get that NPR sound or is looking to do this as a as a career uh, is going to want. It could certainly be a step to get there. And at a hundred bucks, man, what a value. I found that the microphone, although it feels a little cheap, it's very plasticky, does produce a decent sound. You know, is it going to sound like a Shure SMB, uh, you know, SM7B? No. Um, it's probably just below an Audio Technica ATR2100, but that's fine for anyone who's starting out podcasting or even doing um, live streams and things like that on YouTube or Instagram or wherever the case may be. The console has a number of different features that I think people are going to like. It's got inputs for two microphones here, and they send you one cable. You can purchase another cable or get an adapter for an existing XLR microphone that you could use. In fact, to be quite honest with you, if there's one thing that I think I would change about this is I would turn these into XLR uh, ports and not these three and a half millimeter ports. I understand they might be squeezed for a little bit of space and these are probably much cheaper than what you would get uh, if it had an XLR, XLR ports. But to me, the one weak point of this kit is this cable. Now I'm going to show you this cable. You see these kinks in the cable? So when it comes shipped, it comes, you know, it comes like this bundled up like this which is never good this is never good it can break the shielding and things like that i'd rather see this cable shipped um you know like this rounded which i can't do with this cable right now because it's been it's been kinked like this this is never good for cables and it would almost be better off if they hadn't provided you with a cable <laughs> than if they sent this uh, there was a little bit of noise I noticed introduced with this. There's a denoise feature on the console, so that certainly helps it out. Um, and I think if you're doing a live broadcast, most people aren't going to notice that. But you're going to want to run some post-processing on your audio if you're doing any kind of podcasting or you're using it for recording uh, video voiceover and things like that. It comes with a number of pre-programmed uh, little... Uh, what do you call them? Sound effects, I guess. I'm going to power that on here. I don't have the audio running right now. It's got this uh, opening, which is kind of a music type thing. You can do applause, a gunshot, laughter. It's got booing and awkward sounds. I think it's like a crow. Someone getting slapped and people cheering. And then it's got four programmable buttons here, which is great if you have your own podcast introduction, if you have some custom sounds you want to introduce, that's great too. It's got an option for doing a loopback, which means that if you are communicating with someone over your phone or something like that, you can loop that back in so that they can hear all the sound effects. Maybe you're playing voicemails through these or some other kind of input. It's got three outputs on the back here, which is really nice. You get two TR, 
TRRS cables. It's always difficult to say that. But if you had a third one, you could hook one up to three different phones. So if you were streaming on Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok, or Twitch, or something like that, you could output to all three of those sources right from this one console, which is superb. It has a music input. It has a headset jack. Again, this would probably be better as a quarter inch instead of a three and a half, but you can do well with adapters. Like I said, the two mic inputs, and then there, of course, is a USB-C port that can be used both for charging and for hooking up to a PC or even an iPhone like I did. I did hook it up to my iPhone, and even though I got a message that said that it uses too much power and so it wouldn't be supported, I used it with Auphonic, and it brought the audio in just fine. In fact, I would recommend that if you're going to record with this, that you use the USB port for that. There was a lot less noise from the device on the USB than there was with a TRS cable going into another device. It's got different effects on it. I'm not going to go through all of those. It's got a pitch modulator. It's got a denoise, which you're going to want to use. And it's got a side chain. There's a number of different things that you can do with this little device. It's battery operated. So once you charge it, you can take it and go. This is a great portable podcasting console. It's lightweight. Even though it's plastic, it doesn't feel like really cheap. It feels sturdy. It's not creaking or cracking. I don't feel anything moving. The seams are nice. It's a great little device, really. You've got two of these jog wheels here where you can adjust your microphone and your music that's coming in. It's got uh, a simple uh, graphic, got a simple equalizer here where you can adjust your lows, your mids, and your highs. And it's got a um, another dial here for adjusting your recording. You can adjust the brightness of these lights, which I'm sure you're probably having trouble seeing because I'm not in the dark right now, but you can adjust the brightness of the lights. You can adjust your monitor, monitor. You can add echo if you wanted to and things like that. Again, just a splendid little device because it's lightweight and it's compact like this. Great for mobile podcasting. I think, I think it would make great uh, product from for mobile podcasting the price a hundred dollars uh, the value I think it's got a great value I actually hooked up an ATR 2100 to this device so so here's the thing if you have a microphone that needs phantom power like an SM7B this isn't going to cut it okay but if you have microphones that don't need phantom power like an ATR 2100 if you're not happy with the microphone that they provide, you can use your own. So personally, I would head out with, an, with one of these, with my ATR2100, their little, either their cable, or what you can do is bring your own cable with an adapter to go from XLR to three and a half. Again, would I like to see that as a XLR port? Absolutely. But you can make do. You can buy these cables as well. You can buy an XLR to three and a half inch port um, cable as well. So who do I recommend this for? Definitely for the beginning podcaster. If you are someone who is starting out podcasting and you don't want to invest a ton of money into equipment, you get your microphone, you get your mixing console, it acts as a sound card so you can connect it to your computer, you can connect it to an iPhone, you can connect it to an iPad or an Android phone if you got a, if you're an Android person. You know, you'll need the adapters and things like that. You know, you'll you'll need one of these, you'll need that camera adapter for your iPhone or a similar adapter USB a to USB-C adapter for your Android phone if if that's what you want to do but wow what a great what a great little device I absolutely love it so the beginning podcaster and someone who wants to podcast on the go if you're on the go a lot and you're going from location to location charge this thing up bring your USB-C cable with you charge it up record directly to your phone 
and you're good to go. You got your phone, you got your microphone, you got your console, you can hook it up. You can hook up a second phone to this. If you're calling someone, you can do call-ins with this, right? Cause you make a phone call to someone, you do a call-in with it. You got your TRS cable that's connecting. Of course, you're going to need an adap adapter, right? But you can do it all right from the road. You can do it from in a, an auditorium. You can do it from the park, wherever, wherever you want to do it from. And you get good quality sound. Is it NPR? Is it at the level of NPR? No, but it doesn't sound like you're sitting in a meeting room 10 feet away from a microphone with echo all over the place because you can just get right up on the microphone and get that good get a, a reasonable good quality sound out of it so i highly recommend this for anyone who's starting out who just needs an inexpensive portable rig so that they can record things record interviews and things like that maybe in a coffee shop or something like that a great device that i highly recommend there will be links in the description to where you can get the mayono caster uh, podcast starting bundle i don't even know all the words that go with it there's a lot of words on the box and yeah check it out go pick this thing up i think a great christmas present you got a kid interested in podcasting 100 bucks get them started you got a family member interested in podcasting or a friend interested in podcasting 100 bucks get them started can't go wrong really can't go wrong with this thanks once again to mayono for sending me this and allowing me the opportunity to review it my name is john eugenics grandpa and i'll talk to you next time bye